Welcome to Blighty Days. Today, we're taking a closer look at an iconic part of England's rail infrastructure, the Windmill Lane level crossing in Hertfordshire. Level crossings are where the worlds of rail and road intersect, a place of pause, anticipation and movement. Sit tight as we explore this fascinating space and draw a few comparisons with similar crossings in India. As we sit here at the Windmill Lane level crossing, the barriers are down, halting the rhythm of the road to give way to the speed of the rail. Located in Broxbourne, this crossing serves Greater Anglia trains and is a lifeline for both commuters and freight traffic. With 378 trains passing through daily at speeds up to 85 miles per hour, this spot plays a vital role in the region's transport network. And there it is, a Greater Anglia train zooming by, seamlessly gliding through a rail network, monitored with precision. This crossing is equipped with full barriers, road traffic signals, CCTV monitoring and audible alarms, all designed to keep users safe. Despite the high frequency of trains and heavy use by vehicles and pedestrians, the safety record here has been strong, with no accidents in recent years. As the barriers rise, the pause ends and the daily flow resumes. Cars and pedestrians make their way across the rail line, each of them trusting the intricate safety measures that ensure this moment is safe and efficient. The crossing sees 401 vehicles and nearly 700 pedestrians or cyclists every day, an impressive volume for a seemingly small, unassuming junction. But how does this compare to level crossings in India, particularly in states like Kerala? While crossings in the UK, like Windmill Lane, are heavily automated and monitored with advanced technology, crossings in India often feature manual gatekeeping. In rural parts of Kerala, for instance, the crossing barriers are operated by staff pulling levers, and the process relies heavily on human intervention. The volume of traffic is higher in many Indian crossings, and they often serve as critical arteries for densely packed urban and rural areas. However, this high usage comes with challenges, including frequent delays and misuse incidents. Here in England, with fewer manual processes and better enforcement of safety regulations, near misses are rare, like the two reported at Windmill Lane in the year leading up to its last assessment. Let's take a closer look at what makes Windmill Lane so efficient and safe. Train signalling protection ensures that no train can enter the crossing unless it's clear. CCTV cameras monitored by a signaller provide constant oversight and audible alarms alert everyone of an approaching train. Despite its very high collective risk rating, thanks to frequent trains and its proximity to a station, this crossing has proven remarkably effective in reducing incidents. Level crossings like Windmill Lane Wind Mayweather remind us how vital infrastructure can bring worlds together. Whether it's the road, rail, or the people who depend on them. While the challenges of crossings differ from place to place, be it here in England or back in Kerala, the goal remains the same. Safety, efficiency, and reliability. Thank you for joining us today on Blighty Days. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more fascinating glimpses into the hidden gems of England. Until next time, safe travels.